I'm back and I have more to say. You know, that's just the thing of it. Like, you, I could spend hours and days, and actually, this is where my career is now on Risk V. We are on the edge, no pun intended. We're in the core and we're around the world with Risk V already today. And it has been a profound journey these last few years. And I can't wait to see where we're going next. So let's have a little, uh, you know, just a little bit of a recap of where Risk V is showing up. We're going to take a little bit of an industry view today. So, you know, from hard disk drive controllers to high performance CPUs and AI acceleration, we've heard from Sci Five as they launched the fastest performance Risk V processor. We heard from Google on leveraging Risk V for more granular workload acceleration. You know, the Risk V community is responding to customer demand from cloud providers with their own in-house processors to OEMs and semiconductor companies themselves. I never thought that we would see so many multinationals, so many entrepreneurs investing themselves, their companies, and their strategies this rapidly from embedded to now enterprise. But let's think about it. It's not just the two ends of the spectrum. We're also very alive and growing extremely fast in telecom and communications. The communications space has seen tremendous interest translate into action in the Risk V community. Alibaba, leading the most comprehensive port of Android to Risk V that the industry has ever seen. And now we have developer boards to go with it. From base stations to handsets, Communication represents one of the fastest growing segments across CPU cores. I mean, think about it. What is your phone going to do for you next, right? How many processors, how many cores are in that device right now? From base stations to handsets, we're growing very fast. And an increasing share of this is based on risk V. In September, CounterPoint Research issued a report indicating that Risk V will be 10% of automotive semiconductor IP by 2025. We are on track to realizing this innovation potential with numerous reports just this year. So in automotive, we, we see it in Europe, Europe's GA Next uh, program around car charging, the European Processor Initiative, this you know, started with HPC and is also being leveraged in automotive. With NSI, Taxi, and Renaissance reporting their collaboration and their partnerships across the RISC-V community. In the IoT space, CounterPoint Research pointed at this as well. Nearly a third, a third of semiconductor IP will be RISC-V by 2025 in IoT. Guys, 2025 is a few years away. One third of that IP is going to be risk five in IoT space. This is such a rapidly growing space. Risk five cores and wearables continue to skyrocket from innovative platforms like GreenWave's Gap9 Hearables platform to earbuds from Blue Trum, millions shipping every month, to smartwatches from Huami. By the way, at the Sci Fi booth this week, I saw those Huami watches right there. If you haven't caught them, go, go have a look. We're quickly advancing from talking to our devices to our devices talking to each other. You know, it may not be far-fetched to think my refrigerator is going to go get my groceries for me. So we're quickly evolving. As homes and vehicles become smarter, Risk v is fast becoming the architecture of choice for designing to new workloads and implementations. AI. AI is the differentiator of choice. Coupled with acceleration, AI has become a differentiator across industries and implementations, from visual processing to e-commerce recommendation engines, from open source to proprietary acceleration. The Esperanto 1000 core AI accelerator emerged just late last summer. Sci5 announced this week the, or not this week, but previously, their port of the Helios music recommendation engine to Risk V. Across the span of computing, AI is being incorporated. 
This includes edge. Low power plus decentralized computing is critical to compete in the edge. RISC-V offers endless design possibilities. There really are no boundaries to work within the power, performance, and design constraints for distributed compute. Today, RISC-V is being designed into workloads from edge to top of rack networking. Companies like Micromagic leveraging these design capabilities for really compelling performance in their 64-bit RISC-V core. Western Digital continuing to progress their swerve core spectrum of compute capabilities. HPC. HPC is sort of what everyone wants to be, the capabilities, the, the insight that you can glean. HPC is an early and ongoing adapter of RISC-V. In Europe, the regional focus on processing capabilities spawned the European Processor Initiative. The API taped out their first AI accelerator chip in September, and applications again ranging from HPC to automotive. Security paramount across workloads, and the Technical University of Munich succeeded with their quantum cryptography chip for quantum computing security. Tactical computing labs, growing their capabilities and seeing fantastic interest in growth. In fact, I hear they're putting together a fantastic new space in Dallas, like 8,000 square feet, just in time for supercompute next year. De-risk has brought out a hardware software platform aimed at aerospace applications. And we're hearing of similar initiatives taking RISC-V into space around the world. So where does that bring us? This is the glimpse of the future. The future is already here. And just as much as we collaborate with one another within the community, within our technical work groups, thank you again, to all the technical as well as community leaders who've stepped up to those challenges. It's been a historic year for RISC-V. We're continuing that in 2022. We have crossed the inflection point from vision to adoption. We have arrived and we're not slowing down. RISC-V is centered on collaboration. It's centered on contributor culture. That contributor culture means rolling up your sleeves, hands-on code, bring your resources, bring your thought leadership, bring your capabilities, and contribute. Because we together own the future of RISC-V. Now, just as our members collaborate with one another, RISC-V International as an organization does not exist in isolation. We have cultivated 68 regional, technical, industry alliances with local user groups through development partners and labs. These are important stakeholders in our community. We also have teamed up with 14 different RISC-V ambassadors. You saw Drew get his award. Thank you, Ambassador Drew, for your uh, leadership as one of our ambassadors this last year. And we continue to build on that momentum engineer to engineer around the world. And we progressed the industry forward by continuing to build relationships all around RISC-V through software stacks, through industry specific applications, through compilers, tools, and other resources that are necessary. We have a lot of work to do and we've completed a whole lot in the last year. In 2022, we are going to continue to ratify more extensions to fill in the gaps and pursue more design opportunities across the community. We will continue to cultivate industry-specific special interest groups. These include data center, HPC, Android, automotive, functional safety, graphics, communications, AI. Find yourself in one of these areas of interest. Follow your passions, pursue your strategic interests together with the technical work groups as well as the many other initiatives we have going on. Let me just drill down for a quick sec on those technical programs. So the technical engagement of our community is modeled after the collaboration in the spirit, maybe the religion of open source software that says, you know, together we need to make these strategic decisions. We drive the governance of what we produce in the technical realm 
through collaboration, through governance, on what is contributed and what is uh, shared and collaborated in the development. We work together with our development partners, teams of folks at institutions who've stood up and said, I'll take that mission. Let me help with that particular extension. Let me help to build software to run on that particular uh, implementation style. RISC-V labs. We're cultivating RISC-V labs that have actual hardware, developer boards, to help with regression testing, environments to do sandboxing, and the developer board program. We are you know, using a lot of developer boards to see different uh, institutions, whether those are academia, uh, distribution, uh, distros, early adopters, and others. And we're working together with in our ecosystem of partners on shared work groups. We have a coherence work group together with Chips Alliance, and we have a long-standing relationship now with Global Platform around security. Profiles and platforms are something you're going to continue to hear a lot about. Profiles are a standard set of instructions and state to run the same instructions on multiple implementations to get the same result. And platforms are a standard set of features for an extension environment, kind of like Linux, that you would use in Linux or on Zephyr. Across all of these things, all of this success, all of this progress needs to be visible. We need to amplify the news of our members and of our organization so that that momentum continues and that visibility continues so that we may continue to find each other to create relationships, developer relationships, supply chain relationships, customer relationships, so that we continue to achieve that interest, industry momentum. Our visibility mission builds on local and global interests. It builds on collaboration and commercialization. We're investing in risk five learning from online courses, another announced this week, to comprehensive certification programs. We host an academic special interest group to connect hundreds of universities with one another to share labs, technical resources, lectures, and other assets. And we continue to build risk five talent from mentorships to full-time job opportunities. By the way, Futureway is hiring. They have like 10 positions just out on the show floor. So check it out. Not only do we have these postings online, but the number of risk five job openings at member and some non-member organizations is really going up very, uh, very quickly. There's opportunity to build your career here. Let's, uh, let's bring it home. This is our time. This is the open era of computing, and Risk v is the heart of this community. A heart, however, does not beat alone. A heart and mind together build a soul. Think about that. We are bringing together Risk v with the passion, the commitment, and the investment of our community. We have a heart, we have technology, we have a soul, we have this community. And that is the most powerful force of open collaboration that we have ever seen in hardware. So I encourage you, I invite you, commit your company, commit your university, and commit yourself to Risk Five. Join us. This is our time, our time together, right here, right now. Oh, that's it. <laughs>